I think what's interesting is we've kind of got two levels of the park. We've got this overground and then we've got this underground one. So maybe we can try and connect up those areas. But really, I mean, we do have some space underground for that. It'll be quite hard to get there. I like the idea of connecting both uh, like this end of the park with the underground area of the park. Um, so, let's think. Uh, I think I'm going to struggle with this because, I mean, it's just because I read about, about it being quite good for, for the park. I'll get rid of some of these trees then. Um, I think we can have, let's think. Uh, I figured that we can just go down, all the way down to the bottom of the park. So we could have, quite simply, uh, a station that goes from here. Then it goes down to the bottom of the park. Uh, we'll build this. Let's make sure our land. in a good position for this. However, we do have a car ride in the way, so we're going to have to be careful when it comes there. Car ride in the way again. We will get there, eventually. There we go. We're now at the bottom of the land. Now I'm sort of questioning where to go from there. Very hard to see where everything is. Um, basically, we're at the edge of the roller coaster. I think if we get to about yeah three feet, I think we should. No, I thought we were just at the edge of the. Um, the queue for the roller coaster, which we are currently when we go down now. That's awesome. So, uh, on to that should be. Let's count how many bits of station we have. One, two, three, four. So that should be fine. We'll add. Unfortunately, we've got to add entrance and exits, which can be a pain. Um, just Let's move some of that land when it gets in the way there. Uh, entrance and exit there. And on the ground, if we can see it, add an entrance and an exit. Hopefully that won't be too hard to wire up to the rest of the path. Um, we'll, we'll give that a test. Hopefully that will be sufficient. I mean, it doesn't take up too much space. We've definitely got quite a bit of space in the ground still. Uh, especially on this side of the park. And hopefully if we're getting more thrill rides, then, um, then we can take up less space. So slowly, these chairlifts go down. There's not many chairlifts on there, if I'm honest. Could make it bigger. Uh, kind of don't really feel too much like making it too big. It's eight cars, so I mean, depending on how fast it is, I think we can actually speed up how. Yeah, we can speed up how fast it is. So nine miles per hour. It's pretty fast. Should be quite good. Here they come, they're coming back up. All the way to the top. That's quite good. So hopefully we can get some good test results uh, with our with our chairlift. Doesn't take too long now, it's going nine miles an hour. Might have to slow it down slightly. It's quite interesting seeing the way that tunnel looks. I think it looked like cool. 
you have different types of tunnels when you have rides, when you have um, paths. It's quite interesting. So, um, low, low, low. I think that's decent. I mean, it's a ride, boosts the park value, and, uh, well, I hope it does. Yeah, we're on 9,000 now. 10,000, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty much what we're aiming for. We've got a few advertising campaigns finished, so we can just uh, put them back on. So, a particular ride, let's think. Um, I think even the roller coaster. Did we just do the roller coaster? Yeah, we just did the roller coaster. So, I think we'll do the car ride again. And we can advertise the park in general, just for a couple of weeks. And we can get a new one on uh, the chairlift and just the park again. I think to constantly do it, but we might as well just have just a constant stream of marketing campaigns. We don't want to spend all, all our money on it. Uh, one thing that's going to be a bit of a pain for this uh, chairlift is actually getting the path to the entrance and the exit correct. I think, in fact, I want to change. Let's close it down. I want to switch the entrance and exit. Outside at least. Um, underground it's fine. Okay. Very simple. Um, exit. The entrance might be a little bit harder to implement. Um, so we can't really go one direction or another. Uh, potentially we can think about it from another perspective, but again, it's hard to do that. We could think about, actually, are we using the space to the best of our ability here, because we've just got straight bits here, um, so if we Do the to the turn. Oops. We do the turn to the station here. We probably save a bit of space. We've got our exit, and then all the way our entrance can be somewhere here. So we need a bit more space apparently for the entrance. Um, to be honest, we can just hopefully make that bit rise. There we go. We've got uh, an entrance. That's awesome. Um, so yeah. Testing is going to be the same. In fact, I kind of feel like going underground and making the other e exit slightly longer as well. Uh, we'll put the entrance. We might as well put the entrance at the end. That's awesome. Uh, we'll just put that on test whilst we uh, sort out the path. Now, uh, in fact, I did. St I still screwed it up. Um, because the exit needs to have a path to it. But now we've sorted out, um, suppose we need to think about... actually wiring up the en entrance I think yeah we've got one entrance wired up and this is going to be a bit of a pain getting all the way down to uh, well, I guess where the roller coaster is uh, luckily we just sort of just follow the current path which isn't that much of a pain it's just a shame that this has to happen like this uh, let's go all the way down to the bottom of the world Turn off.
Now I believe the best location to get to is there. I think that's connected. Yeah, it's awesome. So we'll connect up the rest of our queue with our ride. Uh, we'll make it like 20 pence, something really dirt cheap. And we can open that out. Hopefully that will uh, have people going on it. Uh, our next campaign will be for that. And hopefully that just increases our park value quite a bit. And it, we really haven't done too much there. So, here we go. Uh, we've just hit October recently, so that means we'll be ending soon. In fact, yeah, it's the 1st of October, so this part's going to be ending, uh, or this year is going to be ending soon, and we'll have to go into our second year and finish the objective. Uh, we've recently unlocked this uh, air balloon, and uh, I'm going to open that out, make sure we get a nice profit per balloon. I think it will be nice to just sort of take a moment here and think, what have we actually done, and how, how well is our part going? Because I feel... When we started, I, I was a bit worried about what to do, but now I'm thinking, I'm feeling quite confident, and I can't wait to continue. So, we zoom out just a little bit. On the surface, there's not much change. We've added, I don't know, there's a few. To be honest, on the surface, there's pretty much no change. To, mostly just the shops, a few landscaping issues. Uh, we added the haunted house, obviously and this path to the haunted house. We've got the whole underground area, which we can view. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really see very well because it is on the ground. Horrible effect, and you get all the roller coasters in the way, but we added a car ride, which is doing mediocre. Um, we added a great roller coaster, and we added a chairlift. Just things that people can use, people can go on, and just it'll help the park ride it. making sure that our handyman can access the areas that are needed. Uh, we've, not, we've actually started to get quite a few breakdowns. As I'm going to say, we've not really had many breakdowns. But then again, that might be because the previous park that I played in the third year, we had so many breakdowns, it felt a little bit ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, I think that we are doing quite well. We've, we're going to have the advertising campaign for our chairlift. We're going to have advertising campaign for the park. We're going to have, oh, well, seeing as it's just the start, so sort of starting 10th of October, so sort of start mid, well, look, start slash middle of October. I think it'll be a good idea to have free entry to the park for a while, free ride and uh, food on ice cream. And why not? We'll have free rides on, uh, let's say, the car ride one. I definitely want to assess the price of all the, uh, the, the rides. But I think it's doing quite well, saying we've got such a small area, and we haven't actually even rented or bought any land, which I think in the second year we can definitely think about doing. We can add that boat higher, I think I've mentioned a couple of times. And it would just be great to do that. Uh, just So, I guess the main thing to do now is check we're on track. Um, so, our park objective is to achieve... Uh, a park value of at least 10,000 at the end of October year 2. So that means we've got another year to do this, and we've got a park value of just under £11,000. So if in our second year we can add just a few more rides to help increase the park value, try and stay afloat, we should be fine. I think that uh, it's, it's going to go well. Um, may have a few more issues with just getting rides in the correct positions. Uh, but that's what this entire park is about. It's about struggling with a small area, but if you can get past that, it works brilliantly. Uh, I don't know if I've ever done this park before in the past. I've definitely done quite a few ones, like Diamond Heights and stuff I've done in uh, previous episodes. But this part, I have no idea if I've ever completed. But I'm hoping, and I'm aiming to complete it today. Uh, so, yeah. Year 2 will be quite interesting, uh, adding more rides, making sure we we actually have um, 
more space for those rides and just man managing such a small park because I imagine if we have uh, if we don't really change the paths too much and we have more and more people coming into the park they're going to start complaining about the side of it and how crowded it's going to be. Uh, recently unlocked the water slide so we could maybe start thinking about adding a water slide or a log plume they always tend to do well uh, water slides are a bit harder to make I find however like I said this entire park is about placement it's about size it's, a, it's all about that and we've got to get that right before we can add anything to this uh, I think we should probably start thinking about building rides and stuff over where we currently have uh, and if we manage to get a boat hire um, on the bought out land I think we can definitely think about adding a log flume and or a water slide on top of it and I think that will actually do quite well so I can't wait to get into that uh, hopefully that will be coming up in year 2 um, we just at the end of October now yeah 25th of October very close to the end and I can feel that the next year is going to be great. It's going to be very vitalised to play it and just be very careful with just where the placement of all the rides are. We have actually got quite a lot of space here. If we can unlock a few more thrill rides, then I think that will just improve it quite a bit. More people can go on um, gentle, um, thrilling rides, and we don't even have to take up that much space. So, yeah, it's just a balancing act. This entire park is a balancing act, and I think we've got a good start, very strong start to it, and I really hope that you join me back for year two, when I will you know, be adding all those things, we'll be aiming to finish the entire park, and hopefully we'll do it with a very good park value. Uh, we could think about adding, uh, we could maybe do a roller coaster. not really that keen on doing a roller coaster. we've already got a small one. Um, one that I did mention, we're talking about um, water slides and log flumes. So potentially we could add, I think a log flume would do quite well actually. Uh, how much money do we need for a log flume? 1,320. Plus we'd have to buy a large area of land. Although I was, I, I did talk about having it above the boat hire. Um, definitely need more land if I was going to do that. But, you know, I think having it around here would actually work out quite well.